Good morning, boys and girls. It's Mr. C here uh, with our last guidance lesson of the school year. Uh, it definitely will not be the last time that you hear from me, but it will be our last guidance lesson together, so my last Friday post. Um, today's book that I brought to share with you uh, is one that you probably have read before, maybe even heard before, um, but right about now, I think it's a message that I know I definitely need to hear and you might need to hear too. It's a book called How Full Is Your Bucket? It's a great story about um, how we can impact and influence uh, other people. Um, not only does this book have a really good message, but I know we've been talking about uh, our zones of emotions and, and how to control and drive those emotions. Um, you know, helping other people, doing good deeds for other people is another really great way <clears throat> excuse me, to take control of our emotions. When you're feeling frustrated or a little upset or whatnot, even if you don't really feel inside like doing it, when you take brain power and control your emotions, doing something kind for someone else can help bring you back down to that best self and make you feel better. So I hope you enjoy our book, uh, How Full Is Your Bucket? Felix was putting one of the last blocks on his tower when his little sister came in. I want to build with you, Felix scowled. Go away, you're too little. Bailey's joined us, come on girl, come on. I'm big, stay back, you'll knock it over. I can be very careful, said his sister. Go play with your baby toys. Thwack! She knocked it over. Grandpa! Grandpa shook his head. Felix, you just dipped from your sister's bucket. Like everyone else, Anna has an invisible bucket. When it's empty, she feels bad. But when it's full, she feels great. Didn't you ever notice your own bucket, he asked? Invisible bucket? Hmm, sometimes. Felix couldn't quite tell when his grandfather was joking. But the next morning when Felix woke up, there it was, a small gray bucket floating over his head. Did you know that you have a bucket? You do, and so do I. When Felix came down to have breakfast, his mom was in a hurry. I've got a meeting this morning, and it's almost time to go. Anna, sit still. <laughs> this definitely happens in my house. We're all in a rush, we're all stressed out, and there's lots of yelling. Felix slipped and cocoa wheat scattered across the floor. Felix, yelled his mom. You should have used the stool to reach that. Felix could feel his bucket tip and big invisible drops spill out. Drip, drip, ha ha. Anna laughed as he crunched the cereal with her shoe. Drip. Get a broom and clean it up before we miss the bus, scowled his mom. With the school bus honking, Felix quickly swept up the cocoa wheats and grabbed the last blueberry muffin. But before he could take one bite, Buster jumped up and grabbed the muffin from his hand. Drip! Hey, look at Felix's new backpack. My baby brother has one just like it, said a boy on the bus. Drip. Psst, psst. Felix, psst. Drip. Watch out, shrimp. Drip. It was still morning and Felix's bucket was almost empty. Oh, look at
at his bucket. Right there. There's not much left. You see, when people do things to us or when we have bad situations or things that just don't feel so good, that bucket starts to drain. I think for me, staying home and not seeing you guys has been one of those situations that have, you know, has been draining my bucket. But there's something we can do. Something others can do for us to help fill that bucket back up. Let's see what happens. As he watched his classmates walk into the room, he secretly hoped they would trip and fall. That's what it feels like when you have an empty bucket. Crummy, bad, no good. Felix doesn't look like he's having a good time. It's starting to make him kind of crummy too. Felix slumped into his seat and waited for something else bad to happen. Mrs. Bumblenickel walked slowly up to his desk and handed him a paper. He could hardly bear to look. Felix, you wrote a wonderful story. Would you please share it with the class? Felix grinned and felt a big drop land right in his bucket. Drop! He's feeling pretty good about that. The Gigantosaurus who wanted a pet by me, Felix. The class grew quiet. They laughed at all the right places and oohed at all the scary parts. When Felix finally read the end, everyone clapped. Even Emily, who sat next to him and didn't usually like dinosaurs. Felix felt a whole shower of drops land in his bucket. Maybe the day wouldn't be so bad after all. Drop, 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 drip, drop, 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 drop. At lunch, someone sat next to him. Drop. Team captains today are Veronica and Felix. Drop. Nice cow. Uh, it's a dog. Well, nice colors there, Felix, said his art teacher. Cool laser, laser ant backpack, Felix, said a girl at school. Drop. See, people are saying and doing nice things, and it's causing Felix to feel better. By afternoon, Felix's bucket wasn't nearly, was nearly full, sorry. At recess, when he looked around, Felix suddenly realized that his grandpa was right. Everyone else had buckets, too. They all have these invisible buckets. Probably never noticed that before. Let me help you. Felix is doing nice things for others. Drop, drop. Here's your baseball catch. Thanks, dude. Drop, drop. The more Felix does, the better he feels. Hi, I'm Felix. First day? Yes, I'm a mirror. Drop, drop. The strange thing was that for every drop he helped put in someone else's bucket, he felt another drop in his own bucket. You see, when we do nice things for others, it helps us too. When Felix burst in the door after school, he shouted, You're right, Grandpa, you're right, Grandpa. I do have a bucket, and I understand how it works. Then he saw Anna's torn doll. Bad dog, he almost scowled. But when he thought, Dogs might have an invisible bucket, too. Your doll will be okay, Anna, said Felix. Mom will fix her. <laughs> Anna was crying. Until then, do you want to help me build the tallest building in the world with my blocks? <clears throat> and so they did. And notice their buckets. They're full to the very top. Friends, when, uh, when we do nice things for others, it makes us feel good too. Uh, and I can't stress that enough. I know that right now or it's a pretty trying time. 
Uh, I know that right now we're stuck in the house with the same four or five, six people, maybe just you or mom and dad or grandma and grandpa, and it gets kind of hard seeing the same person over and over and over. And sometimes it's kind of hard because we're frustrated with that person or they ask us to do a lot of things that we don't want to do. Um, it's hard. I know I'm struggling with it at times. I get kind of grumpy and crabby and not the best Mr. C that I can be. But if nothing else, this is my challenge to you. Fill someone's bucket today. Do one thing, two things, three things. Mind over matter. You may not feel like filling someone's bucket, but I think the more that you do, the more that what's in here starts to change too. If you're feeling kind of in the yellow zone or maybe the red zone, maybe you're in the blue zone, find someone and fill their bucket because it will make a difference for them and a difference for you. All right, friends, that's our last lesson together. Um, I hope that uh, you guys have a great, fabulous weekend. This will not be the last time that you hear from me. Uh, I will uh, be posting uh, next week as well, Monday morning check-in. However, it won't be a checklist like it has been. It's going to be a video from me to you. Uh, we will do the Wednesday WAG, and that will be our last post together. Um, one more thing before I go, I gave you the riddle. I wanted you to imagine that you were middle, you were in the middle of the ocean in a sinking rowboat full of holes surrounded by bloodthirsty sharks and told you to survive. How do you survive? Well, some of you got the right answer. It's simply stop imagining. You're not really in the middle of the ocean. I said imagine you are. If you stop imagining, you're not there anymore. I hope you liked that one, guys, um, and I will see you guys really soon. Have a great weekend. I know it's going to be wet, but next week is going to be awesome. See you guys later. Adios, amigos.